Hi, it's Science Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see what is your person hiding from you, okay? So, what secrets do they keep from you? What aren't they sharing with you? It is going to be a general reading, guys. So there's also going to be a part two to this reading, an extension video, which is going to be made available via the extension link below. Um, in the extension reading, we are just going to take a look at the um, messages, maybe in a little bit more detail, just follow on from the messages as well. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video as well. Okay, it does feel like your person is romantically involved with yourself, okay? There are romantic feelings and some of these feelings do feel like they may be elated, okay? So um, I do get a sense of them maybe romanticizing yourself or the connection that they share with you, okay? So they perhaps could be looking at your connection, at their connection with you through a pair of rose-colored glasses on. So I feel like your person is afraid of maybe really admitting, maybe really admitting to themselves their true feelings for you. They could also be, they could also be scared of sharing with you that they may be they may be attached. They may be attached to someone else emotionally or energetically. It could be a previous romantic connection or a previous, uh, like an ex. Okay, so they may not have closed a previous chapter of their lives. And this is something that they're not sharing with you. So even though they do have romantic feelings for you, it feels like they maybe are, in a way, stopping themselves, okay? What's preventing them from fully exploring those feelings and opening up and being vulnerable with you is the fact that they may still be holding space for someone who has walked away from them. Now, if they're not necessarily holding space for a certain individual, then it feels like maybe they're just not over th this... Either they're not over this relationship here that... Um, ended for them or you know there's still feelings that they haven't resolved from this connection so uh, for instance they may still be hurt upset feeling a sense of abandonment or rejection and look this is a tough topic for this person because it does bring up some really big emotions and I think this is something that they're hiding from you because in the past maybe they did unfortunately experience some abandonment or rejection in their early childhood or from their previous relationships as well. It feels like your person doesn't really want to like crowd you with their problems or burden you with their um, with their problems. It could also be that your person may feel just too too much emotions that it might be very difficult for them to share as a result. It could also be because there may have been a previous experience of abandonment, abandonment or rejection in their life. Like for instance, their previous lover, the ex he has maybe ended con the connection with them or they've been ghosted by someone they were really into. Um, and it feels like they it, see that experience is then resurfacing some um, old memories or old uh, emotions. They may also have an insecure attachment style, which does cause some people to feel relaxed and to share their feelings because they fear rejection. It's not that, don't, don't take it as them being not their authentic self. 
but they do feel a little discouraged opening up and sharing their feelings with you. They do feel a little bit uncomfortable because maybe they don't feel safe just yet or they feel um, like they'll come across as weak here. They could also be the personality type that, you know, they're a bit more introverted and it's a little bit more difficult for these type of people to open up and be vulnerable as well. Um, I do feel like your person wants, you know, they want to explore the depths of this connection with you. They do, but it feels like there are some issues and if you kind of think on your relationship or your connection with them, you probably could pinpoint them or you probably could relate to them because there's some sort of issues that are plaguing the connection. Like there may be a fear of closeness, okay? So um, like a fear of emotional intimacy or closeness that could be showing up. And they may be apprehensive here of They may be apprehensive of love or of trusting someone. And it could have something to do with, um, I do feel like it's a fee. The reason why this fee or this hesitancy or reluctance is coming up because they have identified with um, a potentially negative outcome such as rejection, abandonment, or like a lack of affection that wasn't necessarily returned in a previous relationship. And it's these deep-seated fears that I feel makes it difficult for this person to maintain a close relationship. Um, there could also be triggers. Okay, so it doesn't come from you or something you say or that some, something that you do, okay, but it's, it's often in conflict with the way that they see themselves. Um, see the eight of cups reversed there is this energy of them feeling emotionally drained and I don't know if that's due to current circumstances in your relationship or if that's due to them having these you know being emotionally drained of relationships or dating or trying to find the right one this person is having difficulties moving on from something so they may be having difficulties moving on from an ex or a previous relationship or those emotions that stem from that relationship or maybe if you've had some sort of conflict or some sort of issue um, that was really apparent in the connection let me tell you they're having trouble moving on maybe they're having trouble uh i don't know like trusting you again or trusting the connection someone is unable to walk away and this person is unable to walk away they're trying to, I feel like they're trying to understand the source, but I think they're struggling. See, there's a blockage. Your person has blockages here from attaining that happiness that they know they deserve to feel. And I feel like those blockages do stem from... them being them being unable to move away from a situation or from someone that is then causing them to feel emotionally drained. See the two of cup, uh, the two of pentacles. Um, it's a bit of a frivolous energy, isn't it? Um, the two of pentacles being balanced. It's almost like this balancing act and it feels like this person is juggling between two mindsets, maybe between two very different people, maybe between two very different visions for a future. They may be thinking about returning to a previous relationship or their ex may be in touch here with them and may have suggested this, you know, suggested that they make up or um, that they give this another shot or they may be thinking about doing this, okay, but they haven't necessarily told you this. So they, someone here... Someone here, I feel like either the ex maybe wants this person back or they want the person back. They could also, they want your person back. 
your person could also feel as though maybe the two of you need to take a break and that's especially so if the two of you have had some sort of conflict or you've had some sort of tension lately okay um this person feels that they want time and a little bit of space away from you um, and they just kind of want to gather their thoughts and their feelings um, they could also feel like yes the two of you are a good match and you complement one another and there's feelings there they somehow also feel like they're not getting everything from out of this connection emotionally um, as feelings you know the eight of cups in reverse does indicate feeling like barren empty or a deep void that possibly cannot be fooled by current cannot be filled sorry by current circumstances if you have walked away from this individual before then this is someone who fears that you're going to do it again and if this person is acting withdrawn or distant um, or not as enthusiastic about the connection anymore they possibly it's a fee it's a deep rooted fee within them and they fear that maybe you're going to walk away from them again so in order to um, prevent that you know hurt and those feelings resurfacing they kind of want to you know get to it before you do it first to walk away from you before you have a chance to walk away from them okay and I know it sounds a bit childish and immature but this is someone who hasn't you know who doesn't sit with their emotions okay guys and that's your reading please uh, follow me to the extension reading below just via the link uh, please also show your support by liking sharing or subscribing to the channel thank you guys bye for now